Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for March 23rd through March 30th. Everything is just so different this week that I wanted to do things a little different. <clears throat> I did go ahead and choose our stones. And our rune is the Athila rune, which is the rune of separation. Interesting. We have Labradite, Slayer of Darkness, and Bringer of Light. Rhyolite, which brings tranquility, eliminates worry. Helps you, enhances your creativity, and helps you to focus on the now. And then we have clear quartz, which amplifies energy, helps you connect to your higher self, removes negativity. And it is the most powerful healer. So interesting stones and rune this morning. I'm going to do this a little bit different as I said. So I'm going to, I already shuffled the decks, but I'm going to choose them while I'm on with you. And the question we're going to ask today is, for each of the signs, is what can we do to protect ourselves and to get through this situation? What best ways can we do that? So I'll choose two cards out of each deck, and we'll look at them, and we might clarify them. So what can Leo do to best get through this situation? Okay, well, we do know that everyone's energy is just off the charts right now. Um, so one of the best things that you can do, even before we look at the cards, is to meditate and not to get into this panic phase. Let's see what our cards have to say. We have the Hour of Power, Ritual of Joy. Interesting. And War Bonnet, Advance. Um, this is an interesting card, too. Um, we are kind of at war with this um, virus. Let's see what the other cards say. Oh, the Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. That for sure something we can do right now. And then we have the mirror, mirror guardian. <laughs> Take time to reflect. I think lots of us are doing that right now. Reflecting on what was and also what may come. Oh, this one's interesting. Nothing yet is set in stone. And what do you need to release? Is that anxiety, stress, fear? And then our animal spirits say life is speeding up. That's for sure. Antelope spirit. And brown bear spirit says to take time out. We may not have a choice, oh, or we kind of right now even don't have a choice about that. So these are all very um, cards that really speak to the situation. Find, still find the joy in the little things in life. Advance against this virus and what's going on. 
And then, of course, love is the answer to how to calm yourself and those around you. Uh, if you notice, both of the moon cards that we got are crescent moons. Crescent moons are moving toward or away from the new moon, which is a time of change. So that's very interesting. And then, of course, we have the take time out and life is speeding up. That's for darn sure. Okay, so I don't see anything that we really need to clarify because these are just absolutely spot on. Our stone people card is the man in the maze. That is just perfect. Remember, this is Sieha, big brother, and that when life gets confusing, when it's a maze like it is right now, all we have to do is ask for his help and direction. So that's just perfect. Okay. Um, we've got to place our stones. We have the labradorite, which came up in almost every reading last week. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens today. Remember, it is the slayer of darkness and bringer of light, of hope. So that's incredible. Um, I'm going to put that on the heart guardian because that is our hope. Uh, Rhyolite. Tranquility, eliminate worry, enhances creativity. Eliminate worry brings tranquility. Let's put that on the mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. The Aphila rune, which is uh, the rune of separation, which is what is going on right now. Um, I'm going to put that on the man in the maze so he can help us through this kind of confusing time right now. And the clear quartz, which is the most powerful healer, we're going to put that on the brown bear spirit. Take time out. Bears are all the strongest medicine animal there is. So we're going to ask bear to protect us and to bring about healing, not only physically, but emotionally. Okay. And then our quote for this week is a heart without dreams is like a bird without feathers. That's interesting. Don't let this stop your dreams. This is not going to last forever. Keep dreaming, in fact, is very important. So I hope that all of you stay safe, that all of your families stay safe. Take care of yourself. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.